Welcome to game six of the NCAA revamp UC Davis Dynasty. This week we are taking on Sacramento State. And as we see here, another team ranked better than us in almost every single category as far as uh, overall ranking, ratings are concerned. Um, one thing that's really interesting about this game is the Sacramento State Hornets are another team builder team, obviously important into the game. Should be clear in case it's not. Uh, this is also a, in real life, it's, it's the Causeway Classic because Sacramento State and UC Davis are roughly, I think, 11 to 15 miles of each other, so not very far. So let's take a look at the quick stats for the season. We are both pretty middling teams. Um, Overall, we got some prospects visiting us here. That's kind of big for us. So make sure we got to have a real good defensive game. And then, again, our overall top players for Sac State. A lot better than we have, it looks like. At least in key categories. Ooh, got a bunch of injuries, though. So that's also not good. All right. Let's Hi everybody, get to Chris it. Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation yeah, are, and sights. I, I'm a big so fan of clean, said, simple now, jerseys. That means no more time for preparation. You can see the whole team building scenes because the logos overlap the West. with <laughs> We've done all we can do here. the time rankings. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Nina's team seems to really be rushing him on. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. <laughs> All right, let's see. Tails, we will be kicking. I want that ball second half. And the fans and are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Let's kick off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Wow. He's kick actually 20. past the uh, goal on that. Ooh, the I got taken out of the play big time. Dandi Agude. Nandi Asamoa was a great player. That, his career was interesting. It fell off real quick. The out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Okay, well, I'm glad they ran it early because now <laughs> I remember to adjust the, the uh, what do you call them? The, I guess the defense adjustments. Where are we at? Option, focus on the quarterback. From their own 29 yard line, it's second down. This game is a weird sort of concept that even when your user player um, it gets you like frozen in the option. Gains around six yards on the road. There we go. Griggs. That's why I put. Yeah, that's why I put a linebacker at safety. Those are big hits. Ideally, we get some more turnovers, some forced fumbles, but hasn't really been the case this season. All right, could be. And they might be coming with a blitz here. Point in the game. Early in the game. Oh, down come on. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. From their own 43-yard okay, line, see. first down. Takes the ball right. And he's tackled at about the 45. He gains right. a couple of yards on the carry. The offensive line has got to do a better job of making and I kind of because that was just a punishing hit. Uh, sold out to the opposite side of the field there. He gets rid of this one. 
That was, what, a failed screen? I never said that glitch in the game. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. All right, let's go. Let's get a stop. Get the ball. Here comes the pressure. And he tackles oh, him. got around this. But the defense is fired up, responding. In there the we go. Not only do they I wonder if that counts back, as one of the linebacker it, sacks that we hard. get. I think that um, really creates some confidence for this defense for the, the visit cuz technically science plays linebacker uh, but I, but he's been starting at uh concerned about the pressure at defensive end putting on it. Garrett back deep to return. You know I th I, I think I mentioned this before but I don't know I don't even know what it's like to get a punt return touchdown in this game. Tackle at the 33 yard line. The guy was coming at me, arms wide so open. Having a wide receiver like this, I think sometimes it even helps a young quarterback because this kid goes out there, he works hard in practice every day, and I think he really lifts the whole offense. I think he does. I think it's almost like having an extension does of the coaching staff into the locker room with the players. Uh, he's a guy that makes big plays, but I think he takes it upon himself to be able to help out with some of the other receivers. Make sure you get some big run plays. Understand the route adjustments. Understand. Ah, uh, gap was filled. Good job, outside contain, force me back in the inside, and the gap was filled quick. Plays. Uh, I think this guy totally understands his Alrighty. responsibility of being a go-to player. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. I don't know what the P means. Oops. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That'll make it a third and nine. Well, this isn't good. Way to start the game. Let's go, Hemingson. Let's go, buddy. There we go. What this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as we go. He's been clutch all season. First down. Severia is in the game. A couple, maybe three yards on that. Change to no pace. Play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. All right, let's see. Makes it to the 27. Go forward! All right, I got the first. That's what matters. Damn, I didn't realize my completion percentage was that, was that good. Yeah, 28 drops, or 28 incompletions last season. Or 37. My math is not great today. Get it on the counter, and they oh, shut that didn't work out. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see. Is throw. anybody going to be? Oh, no. Oh, my God. I did not mean to go there. They got the other guy wide open. That was a bad decision. Here's the eighth play of the series. He unloads it. And it's incomplete. That's how was terrific. Oh my god, conscious to slow. Alright, so I think we know our quarterback can't hit anything more than 40 yards. We've got 40 yards here, so. I'm gonna play safe. Takes the grab and he's got the first. And he holds that one in. He gets hit out of bounds. Stiff him! Jump him! Hurdle! I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Me too. Tenth play of the drive. Kirk, who's doing Thursday night football now? Gives it to the back. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. Yes, I definitely thought I was going to get stuffed again. There we go. The longest run of the so game for uh, Garrett. <laughs> Five yards. Totally in control there. That's a cool view. Oh, 
The real question to ask is, why the hell don't the offensive linemen move to another guy when they can't make a block? Time for an update from the Mountain West Conference. The youth grab it by eight points. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Yeah, typically Utah ends up being uh, one of the better teams in the conference whenever I uh, I do a da UC Davis dynasty. He sends this one deep. What'll be interesting though is, you know, at some point I anticipate being 20. able to win some championships. Whether I'll continue doing Davis or maybe look for another job if I can. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. But we're way too early in talking about England right now. They'll bring him down the 27 yard line. Yes, Jones. Go, man. Let's go. Again, I don't understand. I play a 4 3 defense. Look at this. That whole first set of plays was basically three man fronts. Oh no! Nice run to the outside. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low scoring first quarter. The Aggies lead 7 0. Welcome back here. We resume Stop. action now here in the second quarter. The damn three man front. The oh, come line. on, man. I was blitzing two linebackers down the middle, and they got completely blown away. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Okay. From their own 39 yard line, it's first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Man, this Saffron dude. Scrambled. He's tackled at the 45. Get him. Come on, we gotta get some They'll sacks here. On third down. Stop letting him get away. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. No. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the Marcus same page as his quarterback yeah. as they both saw the double catches, outside okay. linebacker blitz coming. All right. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Who runs this guy out? A lot of yards, but this is the eighth play on his drive. Line. Oh, these 8, 10, 12, 50, 40 damn play drives irritate the crap out of me. Get him, Baron. Okay, get him, Domino. Is that how we do? Because we, we broke time in the match. But. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Makes it out to maybe the 30. Yes. These two coordinators are going back and forth between the offense and what the defense. Did, and did they run that just to get a field goal? What was coming? Put his okay. players in position not, to make a play. And give those players a lot of credit. It. They played that third down with a lot of energy and really an aggressive attitude to be able to stop that play. And they got it. And they'll fail on fourth down. Yes. All right. And giving us prime really location. All right, I'm gonna try to play action here. Um, typically, when I run a play action, I get cracked and sacked. Going long. But uh -oh. incomplete, almost picked off. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the What is that big? Go the outside. Ah. I 
was the first catch of the game. Alright, do a little play action rollout. Looking for King. Raven. And that one's incomplete. Oh come on, how do you jump that route? I was underneath. Second and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. All right, let's run a little screen play here. Flips it middle to the running back. Tackle made at the 27. 73, where are you going? That'll make it third and five. Mother sucker. What to do? What to do? Where are we at? 27 plus. Yeah, we gotta go for it. That's how bad our kicker is. Tries to thread the needle and it's not gonna work. Oh my god. That is exactly the kind of play you want to see. Wow, I was like, oh, at least he will have bad field position. It's like, I mean, I don't know what they did there because the, they had two comeback routes. Both were covered. First down, 10 to go. That way. Ball on the 45 yard line. But I looked over to left first. I was like, covered. And I moved over to the right. And then by the time I threw it, that was kind of weird. It was good defense, though, I should say. More than anything else. Steps out of bounds. The 49. That makes it second and six. All right, let's go. Where's that guy? Yeah. Good yeah. haul it in. Oh, yes. We need drops. We need turnovers, too. It'd be great. Down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Stop asking me to run a three man front. Great concentration to pull it in. Run down around the 40. No. Oh, 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 oh. This is so frustrating. They come out on an empty backfield. He's going to try and scramble. And they get the sack. How about the effort of the defense? Right yes, there? Casper, the unfriendly ghost. Anybody on the offensive line. That's the second the game for this guy. You have to redesign your blocking schemes around. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. Great job by the oh, oh, oh just missed him. Right now, I think they got him with some happy Just feet. missed him. to be a bit rattled. Five wide. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 33 yard line. Oh my God. And I saw the screen and I tried to roll back, One but. Minute left in the first half. Question is, what are they going to do? Gets out to about the 31. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with the Man. control. Man. This is the ninth play of the current drive. Last drive was 10 plays. They've run 20 plays, basically, in two drives. He steps out around the 23-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They ran 10 plays and covered 30 yards. the catch and look out and down he goes around the 19 yard line 
Strip him! Oh, I thought he was strip him. This is beyond absurd. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down at about the 15 yard line. They're literally averaging. I don't even know. Complete. He's got room. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. <laughs> The perfect karma would basically be now he tries to, buy to get them to run out of the clock. Down in the open field. They don't have enough time to play dink and dunk football like this. They need to move the ball and do it quickly. So they decided yeah, they to do. The Apparently, they have plenty of time to do dink and dunk. Dunk and so dunk. I don't think he'd ice out. a kicker at halftime, but give it a shot. Let's go, Let's go, Let's go, Man, let this karma be that they missed this field goal for that annoying ass three yards of uh, attempt drive. Three points. Absurd. Good thing we get the ball back second half. With only a few ticks left on the clock before half. That was honestly ridiculous. Just kick this one. That's the thing about these games is, is that um, until my defense gets significantly better, we're gonna be getting screwed like by 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 teams of this caliber. That's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. Seven. All right, let's go to halftime. Oh, like always, because our team is so bad, we cannot keep making bad plays and, getting, and having, turning the ball over. That's what basically has been screwing us. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here come to the next game. So, if you see me on that, that's what the issue is. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad news. I would say this is a good defensive battle, except it's not because guys, they were but driving up the field, uh, just like I said, three, four yards at a time. It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, well, sometimes. usually, sometimes, yeah. uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad, but. You know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do except for well. Isn't and, great. You know, don't it's let them throw like the fastball, make them throw the curve. I mean, Look at this. You see Almost great over six minutes. All the time, and, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play you know, the game out of their comfort zone. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the no. second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in the, college the football. The yards per, Red per play here is just Kirk absurd. Reed, ready with a call. They ran 12, 9, uh, 20 something plays, 80 yards, 4 yards right, of play. And David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second. And has to put a dagger in, in this drive and basically just get a touchdown. It'd be better if Garrett can, can get a touchdown. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 26 yard line. They're ready to go. Disco Reaver. They go and say that on the way. It's only my third drive of the game. Up the middle for a nice game. Ooh, okay. Sit down. Look at that. That's crazy. We've got a second and five. Ball on their own 31. Some crazy numbers. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. You better be in. So they're going to Could try to slow. determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very That's tough it. to tell if he was That's able it. to get a foot down or not. College football, you only need one foot, so we're in. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. Sometimes I get worried that whenever they do like a, a, a uh, first down review of play to on the it's gonna be overturned line. just because the computer doesn't know any better and he's tackled at the 50 yard line 
All right, got some yardage there. I was able to hit a hole there for once too. I didn't bounce off somebody. He gets out to about the 48 yard line. Oh, come on. Take that first here. Oh no, Garrett. God damn it, stop getting injured. We'll always get injured. And it carries the ball for a nice game. Just go forward. That's all you need to do. So the Aggies wide receiver. We hope they make it back. Okay. Let's. Okay. Strained for. Okay. I've never heard that injury before. But okay. The cavalry's coming. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. Yes. Gotta get away. They really did bring everybody there. First and ten, ball on the twenty-three. Angle is interesting. Out. Still so so good. The safety. Good shot. The defender tips it away. Oh, D. And this is the pretty subpar game by Randy Wright. Right. The drop balls do not help. Oh, God. And once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Hemmingson, like always, clutch. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Slings it, and he is drilled at the one-yard line. God damn! How many times have we been tackled at the one-yard line? down and they've got their eyes on that goal line they put everyone up on the line gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on and that one probably should yeah oh he got behind his wide open around that receiver somebody else had to be open. oh my god no there wasn't no blanket Here's there was the nothing play of the drive I mean, Garrett's getting his numbers, I guess. But man, some real bad drops in this game. He makes the PAT. Kind of gave me a taste of the medicine. 12 play drive. They get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did it. I don't know if I call this a Cosmic Classic. This game is, uh, admittedly, not the most exciting, but. That's what you get when you get two team builder teams colliding. Come on, get him. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. All right, they don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They're just going to dink and duck four yards of play like uh, Dak Prescott. He gets rid of this one. What in the hell is that? So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 29. Strike to the receiver. Out of bounds at the 41. Oh my god. Maybe I should learn a lesson and start pressing because but they're gonna probably go over the top thing. Well, I'm gonna press here. Let's see. Keep running these goddamn 
short outs. The offensive line got a really good and push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. I'm going to commit the rush here. Let's see what happens. They'll get him for a loss. By the time the running back here got the football, he's, yes. up. he's got a couple defensive linemen. It worked. On because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, is nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication. Thunder smashed up front by the offensive line. Nice run there. That's a nice run, but it's short of the first down. Yes, baby, there we go. Are they going to Are they going to go for it here? It's They're going to go for it here. Is getting set to go for it. <laughs> I'm blitzing my safeties. I'm coming into the run. He didn't get it. It's not even close. Yes, sales. Damn, they, they twice they went for it in real bad. Uh, they did not have like good field position when they did that. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The yeah, defense has been talking it over on the sideline to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution of this team from this quarterback and his wide receiver. There we go. Again, they put so much play. time in trying to put a plan together. 51 is to excited. To see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35 yard line. He's got the corner. He's tackled around the 21 yard line. There we go, Garrett. There we go. Good run. Good run. Okay, making the average look a little respectable. Uh, we should get a pass play here. Fires it out. That's a great tackle at the 15. My offense alignment on the floor. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. I really wanted to kind of give them a thousand yards rushing, a thousand yards receiving. That's not going to happen. But maybe if I can go for a thousand yards rushing, 500 yards receiving. He's hit immediately. Number 98 tackles him in the backfield at the 15 yard line. That didn't work. Well. This turned out Mercy. Good ball game. Take some water here. To go. Mercy. 14 3, Aggies. Just always up, checking over here, making sure that the game's getting reported. <laughs> All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. A lot of emotion over there with the coaching staff on the sideline. The defense did their job. Yeah. They've oh, three freaking drops. Two of which would guarantee touchdowns. Line it up for the field goal. Let's get the kickers in love. And it sails through the uprights. 32 yarder. And that thing was not, that thing did not they line up to kick this clear by a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. So the Aggies have a defense that's a sight to behold, Kirk. Well, they just play with a chip on their shoulder. They are all over the field. The defensive line knows their job. The linebackers, the safeties, the corners. Everybody plays as one, and they've been fun to watch today. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? And they get nice yardage on that run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And they make the stop right around the 32 yard line. That was just a case of one line yes. dominating another. Casper just the in their backfield all game. Look at that. Three tackles with the sock. I mean, two of those kind of things, but four tackles, two sacks. 
He's been in the backfield all game. That was a good prediction. I, I, I figured they were going to run. Run right there. It's complete. He's at midfield. At the 30. To the 20. Oh, my. Are you kidding me? I guess <laughs> I closed my eyes for two seconds because the second I closed my eyes, I, uh, he got past the one defender that had a chance. Please say, be careful. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. That was wild. He kicks it off. And he this actually reminded me of the Cowboys uh, Rams game this past weekend. The Cowboys were dominating basically all game you know, on defense. And then uh, Cooper Cup has a big. Okay, 77. Okay, clear some. All right, 77. I got excited for a second, but that guy came back from the dead and basically uh, tackled me. Passes in and it's picked off by the safety. No, god damn it. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more the hell I was thinking the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. First and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And it's caught. Tackle made around the 24 yard line. What the fuck is going on? What the hell is 58 doing? Or whatever his number is. 50. 36. And he can't get away from the pressure. Yes! Here we go. That's second sack with the linebackers today, so. We are chilling. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 18. So it's third. Oh my god, what is happening? Uh... Less than three minutes in the game. Looks middle, got his back. He's got to get out, get up, Aaron. Nothing going on that one. This yes. is just a little dump off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, Perkins. keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Good job. And they might be and coming with a the team. I mean, I guess they're going to be either way to kick a field goal here, they need a touchdown. He's got so. a touchdown. Oh, was he in? The extra point to tie this game up. Think I challenge it? I'm gonna challenge it. Didn't want to go for one. The unfortunate thing is they're probably gonna catch whether it's a catch and not actually adjust where the yardage was. Oh god damn. Okay. All right. And he's out there. But did he get? Across, he crossed the goal line. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. Well, I inadvertently made this game an exciting game. Talking too much crap at the beginning. That's what happens. Karma comes back and to get you. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Buckeyes come into today's game ranked second in the land. There was never any room to breathe in this game. McCord's skillful execution of the passing game had to be a that close, but looks like San Diego's only second loss of the season, so the maybe San Diego's a better team than we would anticipated. In other games, we make the left and wind up in Albuquerque. Buckeyes. This was a tight one to the very end. The Lobos pull it off by a single. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at 17 here. The kicker looks like he's oh, ready to really kick this conference. one off. <laughs> Excellent kick. And he 
he's tackled the 22 yard line. Oh, come on. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example. He would. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. I really do want to avoid overtime. From their own Ideally, yard line. because we won the game. Down. Just under two minutes in the game. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. Man, I was nervous there because uh, I did not see anybody open. Just got to get into field goal range. Well, <laughs> basically, it's a touchdown. But our team is bad. Throws into coverage, just picked off. It was time for somebody to step up and make You're a play. You're kidding me. The defense come You're through. kidding me. Now they've got a chance to You're kidding me. That was huge. How does the defender know how to turn around that ball? So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's on the run. He's at the 30 to the 10. Touchdown. Big play. Let him score. Let him score. <sighs> what the hell <laughs> just happened? And he converts the extra point. His kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Garrett fields it at the three. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Tries to get around the corner. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. Garrett's the kind of oh, guy the look at a guy like you and say, just get it. To yeah, and that's wow. tell that guy to just kind of get back out there and let me worry about his quarterback. <laughs> I think the quarterback's got to be worried about just making good decisions right now. If his go-to wide receiver is open and he's in confidence that he can make the throw, then throw it. But, you know, this might be a situation where you get others involved as well. Fires quickly to the tight end. He gets hit out of bounds around the 40-yard line. All right. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 40. Under a minute left in the game. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 21. Hemmingson, I should have known. Clutch. First and goal, and they need a touchdown. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. There's a missed tackle. Oh, no, they really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. There was nobody open. Wow. They might be coming here. He the worst part was that we uh call a timeout. That's their second of the half. No, they're gonna call two timeouts. <laughs> oh my god. Might have had a chance at Hill Mary. I don't know if they just have two timeouts, I don't even know.
from their own 15-yard line. Third down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. Wow. What a bad game. Uh, yeah. I don't even know what else to say. That was just, that was just terrible. Um, and again, turnovers killed us. My bad decisions killed us. Really great game to watch. Both teams and the Cosby Classic goes down as a, a classic game. That's it for this presentation. Sacramento That's State did to me what I uh, did in a couple of the games this season with uh, improbable fourth quarter comebacks. Just real bad decisions, real bad. The drops killed us more than anything else. Um, look at these corners. Four INTs for right. That definitely put his season in a ugly spot. Statistically, he wasn't doing that bad until the, the season ended, but until this game. But yeah, that was a terrible game. I think he had 38 incompletions, 30 what was it, 37 incompletions all season. Had 15 of them just this game. 20 maybe. I, I, easily the worst game I've ever played uh, as far as quarterback is concerned. That guy just stunting in our face. Ooh, and at home too, I just realized. Oh yeah, not a good look. Not a good look at all. We'll let this run through, and we'll take a quick look at Randy Wright's stats in the game. Yeah, that 13 completions. Literally, quite easily, the worst game I ever played um, in this game. But man, too bad you can't see the stats by uh, by half. But it basically, everything they did, they did in the second half. Big, two big plays um, that ended up basically bearing us. But it is what it is. Uh, we will take our second loss of the season. Uh, unfortunately, another conference game. So, yeah, those are two basically big no-nos to start the season. I don't know if we'll have a chance. Well, Sacramento's pretty bad, so it's unlikely they'll beat us overall record-wise uh, by the season's end. But... You know, we'll see what happens. And um, again, just want to thank you guys for, for joining me. Hope you guys did end up enjoying the game. And again, see you guys next Tuesday. Thanks again. Take care.